The sustainability event is now officially over, but I gotta say we had a lot of luck. In the last couple of days, we managed to get our hands on quite a few shinies that I'm going to show you very soon. But before we do that, I have to show you this right here. Check it out. We got a shiny Drillber from the research again. That is my third one. I believe that they secretly boosted the shiny rate on these things from research because honestly, I got a full odd shiny three times and I definitely didn't do 500 of these encounters because there was only so many researchers out there. So we got either extraordinarily lucky or maybe the odds were slightly in people's favor because I had a lot of reports of people getting them from the research. Like a ridiculous amount of people were getting them more from the research than they were in the wild. At least that's what I heard. But I'm also very happy because now we have an extra shiny drillbird to trade to our buddy that absolutely loves these things. And I'm at least safe until we do that lucky trade and then we're gonna probably have to do another one in the future when I get another one. Now, like I said, there's a lot of shinies in today's video and I'm gonna show you them soon, but first I wanna talk about one thing. And that thing is that we finally got information for Pokemon Go Fest, and we're gonna have four events for it. Three of them are gonna be in person at different places around the world, and then there's gonna be one at the very end that's global. Our three in-person events are gonna be happening in London, England, Osaka, Japan, and New York City in the United States of America. But this time they're doing something slightly different. Instead of having a different date for each one of those different locations, two of them are happening at the same time, and those are going to be the London and the Osaka ones. Both of these events are gonna be happening on August 4th to the 6th. But New York is going to be happening from the 18th to the 20th of August. I don't know exactly why they're not all happening at the same time or why they chose to put the two together for that one. But nonetheless, I'm very excited. But that does bring up the fact that that means I'm not going to be able to go to every single one of them because it is physically impossible to attend Japan and England at the same time. And I'm sure you're curious which of the two I'm going to go to. I have chosen to go to Osaka, Japan, mostly because next weekend there's going to be the Pokemon Worlds event in Yokohama. It just makes the most sense financially. But I will also be attending the New York event as well, so if you're attending either Osaka or New York, I look forward to meeting you all. So far, we don't really know what we're going to be getting for these events, what new shinies we're going to get or anything like that, but there is a clue with the logo. As you can see, there's some pink diamonds on there, and the rest of the logo kind of looks like a gem. Well, those pink diamonds look just like Diancie's diamond that's on Diancie's chest. So I definitely believe that we're going to be getting Diancie as the mythical encounter for these Go Fests. And the cool thing about Diancie is that it does have a mega evolution. It's the only mythical Pokemon to have a mega evolution, and I would imagine it's going to be pretty darn good for fairy types. I'm not too sure how it's going to do for rock types, seeing that it is a fairy and rock type, but I definitely feel like the fairy typing is going to get a good buff because of it. And lastly, the global Go Fest is going to be happening for two days, both August 26th and the 27th, and you can currently buy the ticket for this event in the in-game shop right now for $15. Personally, I'm very excited in general for all of it. I love Go Fest. I love going to the events and meeting everybody, plus playing the game with everybody in new different locations. It's just a lot of fun. And again, if you're going to be there, please let me know in those comments down below. I look forward to meeting you. But now that we've gone through all of that, I'm gonna send you all back in time because we got some really good shinies recently within the last two days and I definitely want you to see them. So I'll see you when you get back. Hello, people of the future. I'm with the <laughs> Goku of the past and Ivan of the past, who still dances, so that's nice. He's yep. also been a little sick for a while, so I'm glad you're feeling better, bro. Yep, yep, thank you, thank you. And I'm feeling really good too, because check it out. Blue Corsola, let's freaking go. 858, they already caught it, so I'm assuming the IV checked it and know that it's bad, but I don't care. It's blue, is it bad? I have no idea. He didn't check, all didn't right. Check. Fast caught left. Good stuff, all right. Well, now we learned that this is a Shundo right here, because if I get a Shundo of this, I would cry. It is. Nope. We got a 5, 9, 15. Amazing. We're going to keep hunting for a bit, see if we get any other wins, but if we don't, that's pretty solid. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you know what? That's fine. Two shinies for me, zero for the losers in the back over here. Okay, I don't want to hear it. Hey guys, he got a shiny one more. And, oh. It's bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. And shiny number three. This is great. How do you feel about that, Ivan? Huh? It's, a, it's a good shiny. Yeah, it's a pretty good shiny. What do you think, Goku? <laughs> well, I was just giving you bunny ears at the beginning of your Oh, no, no, you can keep that going if you want. There we go, perfect. So let's catch this thing real quick. Um, Yeah, so tonight's been pretty good for me. Hopefully they'll end up getting a shiny. Actually, no, you got the Dwebble back there, yes, so I congratulations, did. sir. Thank you. I'm sure you were very thrilled. I was so ecstatic, you heard it. <laughs> yes, he's, he said words that can't go on the channel. By the way, it's... <laughs> These IPs today have been just awful. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you not get enough shinies tonight? And our fourth shiny is a shiny Dwebble. Fantastic. So now Goku and I have both gotten a Dwebby, and he also got a Whalmer back there. So, yeah. How does it feel, bud? Feel good? 
Yeah, good. Good, good. But will this be a good dwebble? It's God, no. not, yeah. I, you know, we just don't get good IVs, just shinies, but that's fine. And on the way home with Goku, another shiny. That's number five for the night. This was a good grind. How did you do? Did you get anything else or? No, just no. the two. Yeah, All you know, right. two's good. Down with two. But let's see if this one's good. It's, whoa, wow, that's pretty darn good. Nice. That's close to a shundo. Not quite, obviously, but still cool. Hey, everybody, we're still in the past right now, and I'm about to do the Tangela Spotlight Hour. Maybe we'll get lucky with that. But before we start, though, check it out. I did get myself a shiny Larvitar, which is kind of fun. Definitely not what we're looking for. Clearly, we are looking for those shiny drillbers, but nonetheless, it's always great to get a shiny. And this will be the sixth shiny in the past. And if we get lucky with the Tangelas, which hopefully we will, we'll get even more of them. But I will say, unfortunately, right now, we do have a big lightning storm coming in, and it's been hailing over in the Disney side of places. So it's not the best, but this is also not the best. Wonderful. But like I said, we're gonna hunt some shiny tanglets. We'll see how it goes. So, except for the seven kilometer eggs, but I will say this about the seven kilometers is that Mime Jr. and Mantike are probably gonna be one in 64, and we got ourselves a shiny tangla within five minutes. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get some hype in there for that shiny. I cannot believe we actually got our hands on one of these. That's awesome. Maybe this umbrella trick is working for that shiny stuff, huh? Well, five minutes in, and we already got a green one. Is it a good green one? Not really. Those are Perfect IVs, gotta love it. The purplish, like, evil flames. Oh my God, we've got another one. Ladies and gentlemen, two shiny Tanglas on the stream. With only six minutes left on this one, so that's great. Mm, bang, we've got a golden raspberry. We've got an ultra ball, and we're definitely gonna catch it. Now this is going swimmingly. I cannot complain in the slightest. Hopefully this one's slightly better IV wise. It's, yep, there we go. We at least got a 15 and something. We're still in the past right now, but we're gonna keep the wins coming. You see, Tommy here's got a shiny furfuru for me. He wasn't gonna give me this one specifically, it was gonna be the brand new one, but he accidentally put that in a gym, so... Oh well, it is what it is. This will be the second heart for him. I'm gonna give him a shiny Tropius. You got the Relicanth, right? Yeah, I okay. got the Relicanth. Okay, cool, because I noticed, because he asked me for either a Torkoal or a Tropius, which I was totally fine with giving him either one, because we hatched a few, but I was a little confused. I was like, why doesn't he want Relicanth? Arguably, <laughs> probably the best one, right? Yeah, for sure. For sure. But anyways, I'm gonna... Hide mine for a second. What did you get? You had a 1019? 1019. 10, Don't know a single what it was supposed to be, but. But, I mean, uh, PvP, you yeah. got a 5, 11, 13. Not bad at all. I'm happy with that. Let's take a look at mine. I got a new record for each, which is kind of cool. Oh, yeah. Let's go. 656. Six. Awesome. <laughs> but there's a reason why I wanted that. It's because I now have eight shiny furfurus, and I need two more to be able to have every single form. And since I caught one on my own, I'm still counting it. <laughs> because if I didn't catch any on my own, I'd be like, ah, oh, that's kind of bad but we got one. So as you can see, we had a pretty good time, right? I mean, we got a ton of shinies, which is great, including a shiny Corsola, which is really rare. And plus, Tommy was very kind to give us our eighth shiny furfru. I'm trying to get one of every shiny form in my decks, and I still need 10 of them. And out of all of the eight that I have, I have still only caught one of them, but I'm very happy. We're very close to being able to complete that goal. If you enjoyed this video, and I really hope you have, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, and also let me know in the comments down below, how did your sustainability event go? Did you get the drill bird? Did you not get the drill bird? Did you get something really cool? I'd love to know. Definitely make sure to let me know in those comments down below if you're going to go to any of the Go Fests. I'd love to know which one you're going to. And if you're really enjoying the content and you want to see even more of it, I highly suggest you check this video out right over here. But with that being said, I hope to see you in the next one.